All right, uh, I'm going to do some tests on this uh, uh, power supply. The previous video to this one is me calibrating it. We'll see how we're doing here. Let's go ahead and, uh, and uh, turn it on, turn it off. Okay, so uh, we are outputting one, two, three, four, and we're reading one, two, three. That looks good. Let's go ahead and set this to one amp of current draw. We're getting 998, and this is 998, so that's, that's working very, very nice. Okay, so let's turn this off. What is our, what is our limits here? Let's change this to a maximum limit. Uh, will it do more than that? Yeah, 5.1. So we'll go to, we'll go to, uh, uh, we'll go to five volts here. That's one of the reasons I hate this thing. Is this is the only way you can set the uh, voltages from the front panel? There we go. So five volts. All right, we'll turn it on. We're getting 4.99 and uh, 998. Okay, so now we can draw more current. Let's draw four amps. And, uh, oops. And hit four amps. Let's draw five amps. There we go. So it's working really, really well. Um, let's go ahead and test the 12 volt one. Uh, we will set this to uh, half an amp. Okay, so that's set to half an amp. We'll go to the 12 volt side. Uh, and over here we've got zero volts set, I guess. Yeah. So uh, let's do a recall one. So now we should have 5, 12, and 12. Okay, good. So 12 volts. So let's turn it on. We're getting 12 volts. There's our half an amp. Let's go to 1 amp and 998, 1 amp. So, yeah, very nice. All right, and then let's go to the minus 12. And we have a uh, gobbledygook. Okay, let's turn this off. We have minus 12. Now, I have noticed this one funny thing. I'm going to turn this on again, and it's going to, it's going to crowbar on us, okay? So it really can't output one amp. It can output 0.99, but it really can't output any more than that. So let's go over to this. Let's set it to a 0.9. Point, oops. Uh, 0.95 amps. And uh, on, yeah, 0.95 amps I can do just fine here at minus 12. So let's increase our current here, and we'll kind of sneak up on it and see what happens here. So 996, 999. It's still holding at 999. If we go over to one, yeah. So if we go to one, it just it just wackies on us. So anyway, so it'll do 0 0.999, <laughs> but nothing more than that. All right. So now that we know that it's actually doing stuff, um, let's go ahead and see how the noise level looks here. We're not going to do a real, a real methodical one to measure the real. It's very difficult. Measuring noise on power supplies is really, really difficult. We'll just take a quick look, though. We'll take a quick look. Uh, let's go over to here. And uh, we'll go back to 5 volts and uh, 5 volts at 5 amps. That's our compliance. And then we can set it up here and we can see on a oscilloscope how noisy we are. All right. Uh, sorry about all the glare. I could do a screen capture. That would require an effort on my part, and I am low effort today. Okay. So, uh, let me get my mouse. So in order to measure power supply stuff, you need to limit your bandwidth to, two, to 20, uh, 20 megahertz. So we will do that now. And uh, so we have, here's zero, here's five volts. Uh, so we will look at this. We're under one amp of current right now. 
So let's uh, set this to AC coupling. And then let's zoom in on it, see if we can see some kind of noise. And uh, see that's interesting. What, oh, what was that big spike there? What was that? Hmm, I wonder if I, I don't know what that was. That was interesting. Let, let's slow it down here so we can kind of see what's going on here. Yeah. All right. So there's probably, uh, yeah. So um, one of the problems with all of this, let, let me see if I can't do it right. Just a second. Just a second. All right. So in order to eliminate the noise of your ground wire, uh, I have an adapter here which converts the tip into BNC, and then I have a BNC to BN, BNC to banana. And uh, I, uh, let's see here, can I zoom out, show you at the same time? So if I just kind of come over here and touch it, you can see that it just goes wacky over there because we're talking about five millivolts over there. And so you, you just can't, you can't be around this thing. You just, you can't, you can't be touching it. It's just going to give you too much, uh, it's going to give you too much noise and everything. But we can come back over, over this away. Whoa. We can come back over this away, take a look. Um, that's what we have at one amp. Let's see here. Let's change it to uh, four amps. And there's at four amps, and it didn't change a bit over over here. It didn't change a bit. So yeah, it's doing a really nice job there. Uh, yeah, looks like plus about plus or minus five. Uh, plus or minus five. I don't know why that's an offset at though. I'm DC I'm AC coupled, and there's an offset. Why is it negatively offset? That's kind of weird. Let's look over here. Five volts, zero. Huh, I don't know. That is strange. That is strange. I can't put in some offset. Just take a look at it here. Put it around zero. I don't know. I don't know why it's offset down like that. That seems kind of strange. Anyway, plus minus five milli millivolts. Yeah, that's pretty darn good. Let's take a look at the uh, 12 volt one. Let me move over here to 12 volts. And we will do one amp at 12 volts. And there we go. About the same. About the same. But it, we're only drawing one, one amp here. That seems to be kind of the inherent noise of, this, of the system. Now you might wonder what's going on there. Why is there some kind of wacka wacka on it? Well, that's actually, I think, the AC coupling. I mean, uh, let me get some words together before I say something here. Okay, we're gonna stop this, and then we're going to put some markers on it, okay? And uh, we're gonna run one marker to here, and we're gonna run one marker, oops. One marker, to, uh, one marker to there, and then one marker to here. One marker to here. And um, so that's kind of like one cycle, right? And one cycle is in X. Delta X is 16.25 milliseconds. All right, so if we have switching in the power supply at 120 hertz, one divided by 120 is 8.33 times two is 16.66. Yeah, so I did a video once on that even linear power supplies switch at the bridge diode, and you'll get these current spikes at the bridge diode. And that's what we're seeing here, and that's why we're getting that, that funniness going on there. That's what I'm sticking with. I say that's what I'm seeing. All right, so anyway, uh, just a quick little video. 
just kind of testing out this monster power supply here that's super super good like i say i have a love-hate relationship with this thing i need it's just really big i need to find room for it i, I think i want to keep it but i need to find room for it